there's a popular, I guess, parlor game going on now. And that's what's going to happen next to Fox and what was this about and what was the Tucker dispatch about? What what was the reason? What was the, what, what finally did it? Was this some capitulation to shadow government, deep state, police state, intel state, ruling class, uniparty, the cabal, the, okay. It's very simple when you consider what this thing is. Fox News at its, at its latest and last iteration was supposed to be the controlled opposition to the left. At its best, it's what all of the Republicans thought. This is it. This is the personification. This is the, the, the edification. This is the, the quantification, I sound like Jesse Jackson here, of all that is uh, the, the um, contrary message, the controlled opposition to that which is proposed by the radical left, woke, uh, anarchic, nihilistic, leftist, whatever it is. Okay? And it was. And it was. And it was supposed to be. But it started to stray a little bit. And it strayed for a couple of reasons. One was dominion. That was huge. It dominion, it strayed. Strayed, I say to you. Strayed. It went too far. It went... Dominion was not supposed to be. Dominion was more of a problem than anybody ever thought. It got out of hand. And the, the, the excitement and this blind, uh, baseless, let me re, well, let me rephrase it, evidenceless, these accusations might not have been baseless, but with the Sidney Powells and, and even Rudy, this, this cavalcade, this avalanche of, 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 of attacks and everything, that became a problem. And that became the undoing, initially, especially with a shareholder derivative lawsuit that pointed to the management, or lack thereof, of Fox News and said, what are you doing? What in the name of God are you doing? What is this? What, what is happening here? Why are, you do, why are you allowing this? Okay? You got it? You got it? Okay. That was part of it. Later on, you're going to see some other things, too. And believe me, that 60 Minutes Ray Epps interview, that has not been at all pursued. Not to mention there were some other problems later on. So somebody had to go. Somebody had to go. And it was Tucker at the moment. And do you know why? Do you know why? Because he was the only person who veered from the usual suspect narrative. Look, with all due respect, and I mean this sincerely, I've got a lot of respect for the talent and the position and the history and the, the career of Sean Hannity. But he's a tribute band for the Reagan era. era. He's a, he's a post-Rush Limbaugh tribute band. It's playing the hits. Nothing new, nothing dangerous, nothing veering in any way from the usual dare I say, predictable, allowable, and and permissible attacks and vents and the like. That's the most important. That's what you got to understand. It was okay then. When Fox was at their happiest is when it stayed in their lane, when it never strayed, it never went anywhere else. It just talked about Hillary Clinton and bleach bit and the usual Clinton jokes and that sort of thing. Then things changed. And this is the problem. This is, this is what's critical if you think about this. Rupert Murdoch made the deal to kill not just Fox News, because Fox News in one way or another is always going to be there, but the spirit of Fox News, the radical left shadow government controlled opposition, that's really what it was. It was, it was perceived to be exciting. And what's going to happen right now, and this is important, is that this is the end of Fox News not the company. Carriage fees, they make their money right off the bat. They're not going to go out of business. They are, they're, they're obviously throwing this, throwing people on like Lawrence Jones and whatever his name is and Brian Kilmeade. They want to bring it back down. It got too ahead of the game, too progressive in the conservative web because what, what, what Tucker was talking about really wasn't conservative in the least and that was a problem. That was a problem. This is a different story.
And what you're seeing right now and what we're seeing, what everybody's seeing, is something which is so fascinating. This is the reconfiguration of everything. That's it. Because Fox News became not just a, a channel. That became the spirit and the voice and the go-to message center for the conservative movement. That's what it was. And it never should have been. That's when it got out of control. But they were okay. They were happy because nobody went too far. This is before COVID. This is before people started to ask questions about mask mandates and constitutional requirements of biomedical martial law and, and, and a lot of stuff. People were really asking, wait a minute, safety and efficacy is like, whoa, 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 wait, hold it, hold it. Then came Russia, then came U uh, Ukraine, and whoa, look at what happens. If you read, with the exception, with the exception of if you take Tucker out of the equation, you would see an absolutely perfect template for everything that was the simple, unified, and consistent message of Fox News. It never varied. It never veered. It never strayed in any way from this predictable, acceptable, allowable message. That was it. Well, things changed. And believe it or not, the Dominion lawsuit, not the fact that it... it, it, it it's not going to break. Look, they, they got, what, what $8 billion in cash? I don't know. That's not the point. The point is leadership. And seeing it go and seeing this, this sense of lack of control, where is this? And the shareholders, the shareholders were saying, what is happening here? Who's in control? Not only that, Murdoch's 92 years old. He's tired of this. He's been through this before. He's been through this since with, with Jack Welch, he's been through it from day one. One, one, he knows controversy. Believe it, it's not about Tucker per se, it's what it means. But Fox News, the spirit is dead. It's going to be there, but it's just not going to have it. It's a tribute band. It sounds like the old Fox. It seems like the old Fox. You've got the usual suspects, the usual, you know, people. But that fire, that that, wow, uh-uh, it's going to be acceptable, digestible, allowable, permissible subject matter. And he also lays the groundwork for the next iteration, the next tier, the next platform of informational systems, and that's going to be streaming. And the only way the only way that Tucker Carlson can ever really appreciate this is to completely remain, to remove totally from anything even, 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 even resembling uh, another side. Newsmax. Somebody even laughingly said, Newsmax? Newsmax? First of all, Newsmax doesn't have the money. But second of all, even if they did, they would go crazy if Tucker even tried half of what he said. That is, if you think, put it this way, this is what Fox kind of used to be. This is what it is now. And this is Newsmax. They're not going to stray. You're not going to see anybody go. Because let me tell you something right now. The issues are different. It doesn't fall into this left-right paradigm anymore. It doesn't fall. You can call it uniparty. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't, it doesn't fit in there. And conservatives, are whatever they're called, are breaking apart from this because they realize, because it's a new enemy. It's a new world. It's a new, it's a new battleground. And the enemies of liberty and society and the Constitution are sort of maybe left-wing and maybe Democrat, but that's not it. It's more than that. It's more important, more critical. And I'm telling you, this is transformational. You are going to see transmogrification, for lack of a better word, of things and, and subject matter you have not ever even, even imagined. So understand, focus this. Not, I'm not trying to belabor the, the Tucker part. Tucker's fine, they're fine, whatever it is. That's not it. It's what this means. This signals, this triggers. The beginning of the end of the firebrand, the dangerous Fox News, is going to revert. More entertainment, more fluff, more schmaltz, more kitsch, more Broadway, more Hollywood, more usual stuff. Keep it simple. No hits, no runs, no errors. And watch, you're going to see more of the Ronald Reagan, Rush Limbaugh, 80s conservative tribute band stuff. You mark my words and comment as you see fit. But after, after you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit that doohickey notification thing so you'll be made aware of when I speak again. All right? Good. Now, you may comment as you see fit.